Electrocoagulation is an effective and environmentally friendly technique used to treat industrial wastewater. This innovative process is gaining popularity due to its ability to handle a variety of contaminants. This method utilizes electrical current and sacrificial electrodes to remove pollutants from water. The electrical current causes the pollutants to coagulate, making them easier to separate from the water. Industries such as textile manufacturing, food processing and metal finishing generate wastewater containing dyes, oils, heavy metals and other contaminants. These pollutants can be harmful to the environment if not properly treated. Electrocoagulation offers a cost-effective and efficient alternative to conventional treatment methods. It reduces the need for chemical additives and minimizes sludge production, making it a more sustainable option. Its ability to remove a wide range of pollutants makes it a crucial process in achieving sustainable wastewater management. By adopting electrocoagulation, industries can significantly reduce their environmental footprint and contribute to a cleaner, healthier planet. The electrocoagulation process relies on a carefully designed electrode setup. Aluminum or iron plates are commonly used as sacrificial anodes due to their affordability and effectiveness. These anodes are immersed in the wastewater stream along with a cathode. A direct current is then passed between the electrodes. When electricity flows through the system, the anode material undergoes oxidation. This process releases metal ions into the wastewater. The release of metal ions from the anode initiates the coagulation process. These ions readily react with the water molecules, forming metal hydroxides. Metal hydroxides are positively charged and act as coagulants. They effectively neutralize the negative charges of pollutants present in the wastewater. This charge neutralization destabilizes the pollutants, causing them to clump together. Section 4 Flocculation from tiny particles to visible flocks. Following coagulation, the destabilized pollutants begin to aggregate into larger particles called flocks. Gentle mixing or aeration is often employed during this stage to enhance flock formation. Larger flocks are advantageous as they are easier to remove from the wastewater. The size and strength of the flocks depend on factors such as pH, current density, and the type of pollutants present. Section 5, Separation, Removing the Flocks from Wastewater. Once the flocks have reached a sufficient size, they can be separated from the treated wastewater. This is a crucial step in ensuring the water is clean and safe for discharge or further use. Sedimentation, a common separation technique, allows the heavier flocks to settle at the bottom of a tank under gravity. This method is efficient and widely used in many treatment plants around the world. Alternatively, Flotation techniques, such as dissolved air flotation, introduce fine air bubbles into the water. These bubbles play a vital role in the separation process. These bubbles attach to the flocks, causing them to rise to the surface, where they can be easily skimmed off. This method is particularly useful for lighter flocks that do not settle easily. Section 6 Conclusion, the advantages and future of electrocoagulation. Electrocoagulation offers several advantages as a wastewater treatment method. It is a versatile and effective solution that addresses many of the challenges faced by traditional water treatment processes. It is highly efficient in removing a wide spectrum of pollutants, including heavy metals, oils, and other contaminants that are difficult to treat with conventional methods. Additionally, Electrocoagulation significantly reduces chemical consumption compared to other techniques, making it an eco-friendly option. The process generates minimal sludge, which simplifies waste disposal and reduces the environmental impact associated with sludge management. Electrocoagulation also boasts low operating costs and a compact footprint, making it an attractive option for facilities with limited space and budget constraints. Its adaptability makes it suitable for various industrial settings, from manufacturing plants to food processing facilities. As research and development in electrocoagulation continue, new advancements are being made to enhance its efficiency and broaden its applications.
We can expect even more efficient and sustainable applications of this valuable technology in the future, contributing to cleaner water and a healthier environment for all.